we mentioned franchising, right? Yeah. Um, any lessons learned around franchising? Uh, some I, I know a lot of my listeners out there are yeah. interested in this. Yeah. What are some of the things that kind of like were surprising to you that you didn't consider when going through when before starting the process? Yeah. Uh, one thing that I'm thinking about as we're going through the the FDD process, which is a process what that does FDD stand for? Uh, franchising disclosure um, document. Okay. Uh, and as I'm going through this. Um, you know, a few things always come to mind is that one thing is I don't want to make a franchisable brand where where I'm not creating a win-win situation, uh, where uh, I'm not, you know, selling the franchising is one thing, supporting and, and making sure that the franchisees are successful is another. And I want to build the franchising company that, franchisees are successful okay and so, that's a long-term play so you're not in the business of building franchise restaurants you're in the business of building franchisees that's right yes and the things that we're doing preparing ourselves is what do we have to do to make sure that our franchisees are successful so they're building a long-term relationship with us can you get specific on some of the things you need to do to make sure absolutely yeah. like there's so ton of things that we realize that oh we need to make this um like we, we 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 do things and it's so routine for us that it's it's a normal it becomes like very normal right and, and what we haven't realized is that we haven't written this down and we haven't really asked ourselves is this the right approach when we when it comes to this task uh, things like that just yeah. small minute details constantly working through little things yeah that that needs to be more uh, methodical and strategic. Uh, in order for us to make our franchisees successful, and you know that takes time. Are you outsourcing any help? Yeah, for this? we yeah we have some consultants out there. I mean, one of the things that small companies we aren't able to do is hire a you know hundred and fifty thousand uh, dollar right. you know upper management, right? Yeah. Uh, but what's also great is that we're able to in a in a place where we're, we're um, able to find good consultants to help us. And, you know, when they're good core value fit, uh, these consultants bring so much value to our business and we're able to use their yeah. experience and skills yeah. to get things done. 